All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can add third-party audio effects and plugins into DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so before I get too far into the video, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the lighting in this video. It's not really up to my standard, but my diffusion material for my fill light broke, so I'm stuck using basically bare bulb at this point. So let's just get right into the video then. So what we can see is I'm already in the Fairlight tab. I have a previous week's project opened up here and it just has some audio. It doesn't really matter what's opened up for the purpose of this video. But if we go to effects, there's going to be a particular compressor that I'm going to be importing because I don't currently have it in here. If we go under dynamics. We can see that I have a limiter, a multiband compressor and a soft clipper. Those are the current stock plugins that are in DaVinci Resolve. And if I wanted to import more, what we can do is go under DaVinci Resolve, go under Preferences, and go under Audio Plugins. Now you are going to have to find a place to download your own plugins. And in this case, I've downloaded a compressor plugin from uh, Tokyo Don Labs, not sponsored in any way. I just really like this compressor on vocals. It's really transparent and it doesn't really color the sound too much, which is what I like for spoken word. So I've placed this on the desktop, so I'm just going to go in, add it in here. And then if I save, it's going to prompt us that we have to restart Resolve. So I'm just going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in Fusion. And now if we go under the spot to add effects, if I go under Dynamics, now we have a new option called VST. And if I hover under that, we can see right here that there is a new option, and it is the VST from Tokyo Dawn. It is the Katalnikov compressor, and there we go. It's as easy as that. Now, in terms of the actual VSTs that you can import, well, it can't actually be a VST3, which is sort of the newest standard. It has to be a VST2 and you're going to know it's a VST2 if the extension on Windows is .dll. If it's anything else, it simply will not work with DaVinci Resolve. Absolutely has to be a VST2. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.